Okay, so here we got our 2005 Polaris Sportsman 700 EFI. And I got the book out here. And diagnostic mode. So we want to get rid of the wrench, the flashing wrench icon, which is for the service. So it says turn the key off, wait 10 seconds. Set the park brake. So we'll go over here and set the parking brake. And shift the transmission to neutral. I believe that's neutral right there. Hold the mode reverse override button. So we're holding this reverse override button as we turn the key on. Release the switch as soon as the display is activated. So turn the key on and let go 2.6 that's the revision and uh, this must be the time so I hit the speedo let's see here so it says revert use the mode reverse override button to toggle through the diagnostic screens I think if I just hold it I can do this set the time here so I'm holding it yep so now I'm on 12 so right now it is it's actually 11.58, so I could have left it. So apparently then, oh, let's go there. So apparently you just leave it. It toggles from the hours to the minutes if you just leave it. So now, because I left it, it just came back to this. So anyway, that's how you set the time. And then you scroll through. You hit this button here, and you scroll through everything. So that would be the battery voltage. And the next one indicates the engine RPM. We're in diagnostic mode. The screen. So this is the next one should be all wheel drive. So off, cause I got it off. And gear circuit diagnostic. So if I hit it again. And okay, it's a neutral. So it should be 158. Yeah, I'll just go through this here. So I put it down to reverse. And in reverse, it says it should be 75. That's the ohms. So this is for diagnosis. Then in park, it should be 23 ohms. It's measuring the ohms. 23. And put it in high. It should be 628 ohms, where my thumb is. So... 611 I don't know how accurate it's got to be So anyway, I'll get it back in neutral. So that shows you all them Steps, so I'll get it back in neutral. So that could be for diagnosing. You're supposed to know the ohms in all the ranges, I guess <clears throat> So we want to get rid of the wrench icon so Actually, you can just turn it off um, that's one way to do it. So let's see what it say here. So hold it for seven. S okay, so I got to get to the wrench icon actually. So I'll scroll through here yet. Okay, there we are. I think that's the wrench icon. Actually, it's set for zero. That's the hours that it's. So at zero hours, it's going to show the wrench icon. So this ain't even set. So maybe we should. I guess here's how to shut it off, I guess. You're supposed to hold this for seven seconds, and then you can shut it off. There. So now it's off. So now your wrench icon will never show up. You have no service interval reminders. And I just may leave this ATV like that. But I guess since I'm in here, we'll, uh, we'll set it for maybe 100 hours. So we just service the oil on this, so maybe... We want to bring it back in 100 hours and have the wrench icon come up. But this right now took care of the wrench icon. It won't be up. So while we're in here, to enable, turn on, repeat the steps above. All right, so I think I got to turn it back on, actually, to get to set the hours. So I'm going to turn it back on. Actually, now the wrench icon's flashing. Now, I could be wrong. I think now this is where I can set the hours I'm not sure no so what I did is I I'm toggling through everything again so I didn't get it right 
So I'll get back to the service. There I am, right here. I think I'm supposed to hit this for seven seconds. Now it's flashing. There. See, now I can set the hours. If you see my left button, so I'm going to set it for 200. You can hold the button down, it'll go faster and faster. You can't go backwards, so if you pass like 100, you know, whatever you want it set for, if you keep holding the button down, I guess it wraps around, it gets to as high as it goes, and it goes back to zero. So keep that in mind. So I'm just going to set it for 100. Okay, 100. And it's now set. So actually, that is set for 100. You don't have to enter it in or nothing. So then we scroll through again. And we got MP. That means you're in miles per hour. Oh, so you can set it to kilo kilometers so if I hold the button down you can change it to kilometers and that's it so shut the key off we'll turn it on and the wrench icon should be off no wrench icon I understand the check engine lights on I'm gonna be doing another video on that because we must have some codes in here so but anyway that's how you do your service intervals and how you get into diagnostic mode hopefully it helped you Thank you so much for watching. I make videos like this often. If this helped you out or you enjoyed the content, please hit the like button below and consider subscribing. Please also consider donating using the link in the description below, which helps keep this channel going. Hope to see you in the next video.